All right. Hey, everybody. Here with the Drone Ninja Shop, which, by the way, you have to subscribe, but we got a 3D printer here. Uh, I got a couple little ones at home just to practice with. Uh, and then I got like a scanner. But this one's a triple extruder, so we can make different colors and it's a, a little better model. This is the uh, G-Tech. G-E-E-E-E-Tech. G, I don't know how many E's there are, but there's a lot of E's. G-Tech. Um, we are gonna be unboxing this today so we could see exactly how easy this is to put together, how, uh, what it's gonna do for us uh, versatility-wise. And I already know that it's a great printer. Uh, prints thinner lines if you would on there so it's a much smoother uh, kind of a 3d print but primarily we got this to print all our drone parts that we need little stabilizers hoods um, you know, gimbal locks uh, uh, all sorts of things we can do uh, drops you know like drops we just put some servos in there we could put drops we could extend the leg there's a ton of things if you got any ideas let us know so I'm excited let's get going on this all right, so first things first. Open this box. Oh, there it is, there's three Gs. G Chuck. All right, cool, this is a triple extruder. Let me see. All right, a whole bunch of directions. Ah, oh, we got a, and leveling paper. All right, cool. So that's interesting. I'm gonna put these over here for now. Looks like a lot of trays. This looks, oh, you know what this is? This is the frames. These are the frames to put things together. All right, that makes sense. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, nice. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of work to do here. Lots of plugs. It looks like they're all different, which is good, which means they can only fit in one spot. I like that. They're all a little bit different. So let's put, let's see what we can take off of here, right now. Okay, that's a thing there, and it's up there. Okay, that's one big platform. And these are just things that keep everything still. Let's see what these are for. Ah, so, first piece is the platform. That makes sense to me. Plug? Okay. These are the wires that connect to all the servos. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so look at that. That's the oh, extruder cables. Alright, good. So this would be the plate that goes back and forth as the printer would move around on the plate. So it kind of go like this. This looks like the tracks where it's set up for the tops. All right, interesting. All right, let's put this here for now. Let me see, oh, G-Tech. This is the first layer. Ah, so what do, when you're printing, you put this on so it has a grasp to it, okay? When you, you want something for the first layer of the plastic to, to stick to when you're 3D printing so it doesn't slide all over. So that's cool. Here's the control board. Now I know, oh, there we go. All right, so some of those wires we saw before go right into here. Very nice. These will be the controls. I'm familiar with these. Pretty simple, it's a menu, old fashioned menu where you push through everything. See the little button that goes tick, tick, tick. And then you can roll up and down to scroll through the menu. But I know it also connects right to the computer. So on the computer, you would just have your program. And then the program would send it over. So let's put that here. Nice mouse pad, isn't that lovely? Little bonus. So here's the extruder. This would be from the top. Nice. Uh, so this will go like this, and this goes up and down. And there's three printers in here, or three piece, three extruders basically. 
So you would put the plastic in here and it would work it all the way down. Then this is the heat. So it would melt it all together. And depending, just like a regular printer would mix the different colors to get your colors, this would mix three different colors of plastic. So you can, when it comes out, it's extruded there. All right. So this essentially is going to go in here. See? So eventually, this is all going to print together and go up and down on there. Very nice. So we're going to have to assemble that like this, put that together. And once that's together, then this printer will go up and down and print our products over there. Excellent. Oh, let me give you a nice spatula. That's always a plus. So in here, this, because when you're, when you're done with your print, you want to be able to pop it off the plate like that. So when it's all done and your print's on top of here, you want to be able to scrape it off without cracking it. So this will be able to get that off. It's nice. All right. All right, we have our our flexible cord wire in there. Okay, obviously USB cables. Oh, and some samples. They're nice. They give you a little bit of uh, a little gray, a little blue, a little pink to get you started in your printing. These come in giant rolls, though, so that's pretty cool. All right. All right. These are amenities. Oh, you know what these are? When you put your put your 3D rolls on the top, these actually guide. You put the plastic through here, through these holes, and it actually guides it. So if it gets caught, it's going to get caught here as opposed to inside the printer. So this will straighten it out. These are basically straighteners, like hair straighteners. I got all the tools we need to set it up. Very nice. Huh, interesting. Excellent. See, there's all the little screws and everything that we need. Your typical put together screws. Here is. Oh, you know what this is? It's a feeder. So this will actually feed it. So this way you're not gonna, when you put these in the front, it'll pull that through here, and this this will feed it. Oh, nice. Because when you feed it, it, it feeds evenly and it doesn't pull back. Because with the other smaller printer I have, you don't have any of the feeders on it. So what happens is if, if there's more or less weight on the um, plastic, then it pulls and then you're, your print gets askew like that. So these feeders will keep everything at an even pace. This is nice. This is a nice, this is a nice setup. See, and then you have three of them for the three different colors. There we go. So three feeders for the three different colors. Then finally down the bottom here, we got the power bank. So you plug into here. This is, looks like a, I wonder if it's a transformer in there. Yeah, so inside of here is a transformer and it's got a fan to keep it nice and cool. All right, it doesn't look like a com computer work. This is simply a transformer that connects to the bottom of it and then uh, regulates the power. Oh, very nice. Excellent. So, looks like this is gonna be a whole lot of fun to put together. What I'm gonna do is, is start to put this together and little by little uh, as I do each piece what I'll do is uh, show you hey I'm putting this piece together but that would be a really long video at this time so as I'm doing it what I'll do is I'll uh, take a short snapshot of each section speed it up a little bit for you and then uh, you'll be able to see how it's put together and you can go back and forth and stop the video so I'm pretty excited this looks like a really nice system it's really it's solid well made there's lots of parts um, and parts means that it's they got a lot of ingenuity into it too 
So, I'm excited. Let's see what happens. See you in a bit.